any one of you that some of your best friends are people that have no ambition of greatness anywhere lose hope you are finished check your circle if all the people in your circle are either depressed people or people that resigned you know there are people that their own is depression they look at life and life is treating them bad they're always crying all that they have given up they're no longer fighting you have entered one chance your destiny is about to be destroyed the only way to guarantee a future is that you are hanging out with people that are still hungry people that wake up in the morning and they say we must fight we must get somewhere if you have my voice say yes are you hearing me? Why is it at this time that the church is still thinking of how to build this, how to build this, how to build this? People have to do that. I mean, you may get angry with people like Papa Yedibo. Why is he still building at this age? He will build. As long as you are hanging out with hungry people, you keep moving. No, you are not with me. You know, there are people from the time they bought their first car or they built their house, they settled. There are some ladies, the day they got married, they settled. Life just became, okay, make with the waka, make with the waka, make with the waka. You're not hearing me. There is no ambition. There is no goal, no target of where we are going. They have not set anything for life is passing or time is going. There are some young children that graduated from school and are not going anywhere. You are not with me. I tell my children, if you think your father will be there forever, you are wasting your time. One day you go tired. And then, then life will start flogging you. You better wake up and move when others are moving. Anybody who thinks that you can do life easy is a fool. People don't tell you all their story. But there is nobody that is great today that was sleeping every night. No, you didn't hear me. There is no lazy person that has a chance in destiny. I said that all right. You collect 50,000, you're happy. You collect 100,000, you're happy. You collect 200,000, you're happy. You are carrying on until life passes you by. You wake up by the, by the time you are crossed 30 something, going to 40, and there's nothing to hold on to in life. That's why you become a nuisance to yourself and to others. Hunger with hungry people, young man, young woman, whether you're an elitist, a mighty thing, hunger with people that are desperate to rise. Who wake up every day and tell me, I can't die small? Will you die small? Will you die small? Will you die small? You see, when you are single and nobody is dependent on you, you don't know how bad poverty is. No, you are not hearing. You won't know how terrible it is to earn 50,000 in a month until you have two children depending on you. They look at 50,000. And it doesn't look like anything. But because you have no option, you will stay. You can't go anywhere. Hunger with hungry. Now that you are young and you can try many things, I beg, start running. Start running. Start running. Start running. Start running. Enter the race now. Start running, young girl. Start running, young man. Enter the rest. Listen, sleep in, sleep in the bachelor. Sleep in the penetral station. Do whatever you would. As long as it's in righteousness. And break through and break out. Don't sit down until life starts slugging you. Am I talking to somebody here today? If you keep moving until things get tight. And you don't have options again. That's when you know that life is hard. Oh, 
look around church and think that I'm one of those crazy pastors. I'll just say, just take all you and move. I have to tell you the truth. Are they hearing me? Have I spoiled your day? You just hang out with some people and they say that in the afternoon and that, 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 they, they just text TikTok. They watch. <laughs> they send to you. And that's how you spent your day. Some of you now, this is June. You can't account for January to June. You can't show the steps you took, the milestones you achieved, the things that happened in your life. I don't care who your father is. No matter how tall your father is, you must do your own growing. Nobody will care tomorrow. Ha. Behold your destiny now. Are they hearing me? David, look at 1 Samuel, chapter 22, verse 1 and 2. David therefore departed hence and escaped to the cave of Adullam. And where his brethren and all his father's house headed, they went down thither to him. Now verse 2. And everyone that was in distress, and everyone that was in debt, and everyone that was discontented, gathered themselves unto him, and he became a captain over them. And there were with him about 400 men. These are men who were desperate to survive life. Desperate to survive life. Can I ask you, gateway people, are you desperate to survive life? Are you the kind of army a man like me needs? Lift up your hand, I declare over you. Life will not defeat you. I say life will not defeat you. I say life will not defeat you. Life will not defeat you.